Some other news this half hour as we are approaching one year since Russia invaded Ukraine. We had the chance to meet a Ukrainian family today that just moved to Niagara Falls last month. Most Buffalo's Kelly Dudzik joining us now to share their story. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kate. Jewish Family Services is helping Ukrainians move here to the U.S. and there is a strong Ukrainian community in Niagara Falls. Sergei Koltsov, Tatiana Pitukova, and Daria Koltsova left their home in Ukraine for Slovakia, then Poland, then Germany before flying to the U.S. Daria just started sixth grade in Niagara Falls. She just went to her first day of school, but she didn't have school today because they had a snow day. You'll hear an interpreter speaking English because I don't speak Russian or Ukrainian, and the family is learning English, so Jewish Family Services called their interpreter service for us. I asked them what it's been like living here so far. So, first two days, we slept, and after that, we started to do our documents, at first uh, SSN, and after that, our work authorization. Also, we met uh, people, uh, we were riding with them, with all, all with, uh, I'm sorry, on all these places. Also, we were in one aquarium. They had a lot of fun at the aquarium. They've also been busy with their English classes and classes that Jewish Family Services does to teach refugees about social customs and laws here in the U.S. They are very thankful for all the help they've gotten getting settled in into their apartment and all the volunteers who helped them set up their apartment. You'll hear more from them tonight, first at 5, Kate. You can't, I can't imagine, but you think you would want a friendly face and yeah. someone to help guide you. So look forward to hearing those stories and also struck by the smiling. Yes. Even with all they've been through. Yes, and uh, Daria was so happy to be able to go to school. She does IT classes, math classes. She loves it. Much more to come. Kelly, thank you. We got